Hey guys, Bruce from What's Popping here, and we are continuing with our media coverage of Comic Con Africa 2022. In today's video, we are going to be sharing all of the highlights of Ross Butler's panel on the main stage right here at Comic Con. We had an awesome time with him. He answered guest questions, he salsa danced with people in the crowd, he laughed, he cried. We had an amazing time. Let's get straight into that panel. Welcome to South Africa. You originally said you live in LA, but you did not come from there. What were you doing? Uh, so I was in LA, I was just in Milan for fashion week, but honestly I was living in pasta. Yeah, we can share <laughs> fashion school. Uh, pizza and pasta. So, we, we talked a little bit before you came out here. Okay. You and I actually got to start at the same place. Tell us about your time at Disney. Oh boy, okay. I don't know if you guys have heard of this company called Disney. Uh, I did a show for them it's called Casey and Recover. You guys know Casey and Recover? Okay. <laughs> she legit, she held it up on her phone and I was like, oh, wow. This is you know, I was like, maybe they don't get the same shows here. I don't know. But, yeah. And then one of my personal favorites, Camp Rock 2. Camp Rock. Camp Rock what? Yeah. The Teen Beach movie, sorry. Teen Beach, I was just like, Camp Rock, yeah. No, 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 it's not I had it wrong. Because in my head, they all run together. Because what they'd always do is, every time a new show would come out, they'd make us do like a show in the park. Oh, okay. And it was like, a, 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 it was High School Musical, into Camp Rock, into Teen Beach. TV. Now it's like, zombies, or, there's always something. I can't, I can't keep up. Yeah, it's just a bunch of us teenagers on the beach for the second time, and that was a, that was a great movie. <laughs> I'm surprised you guys can do that. <laughs> so, everyone wants to hear a little bit about uh, Shazam. Oh. Uh, I mean, as you know, the first one came out a couple years ago. I cannot say anything about Shazam 2 except... No, we know that. Yeah, but I'm in it, and uh, everyone else is still in it, and we're still fighting the bad guys. So how did that how did that casting process work? Like, you know, you, you, you get the call, you get the call, I went in for an audition, um, and yeah, that was pretty much it. They just cast me off on an audition, and uh, I don't know, I, I did. And so it usually isn't like that. Usually it's a full lengthy process, but for that one, it was pretty quick. It was a good time. I was just kind of myself, uh, being like an adult with a 10 year old brain, and uh, that's it. <laughs> an adult with a 10 year old brain, I like that. So, uh, also, uh, we're talking about shows. There's another show, 13 Reasons Why. Oh. A little another, different. Yeah, another small company called Netflix. Uh, <laughs> <she is. laughs> so how many, so that process, so going oh, through yeah. getting selected for that, how many so so that was, was a little different? That process is a little bit weird. I actually auditioned with the, uh, for that movie, or, sorry, for that series with my best friend's mom. So I'm from Virginia, which is near Washington, D.C., and my best friend, I was staying at his house, uh, and I didn't have anybody to act with, because like no one in Virginia that I knew was an actor. So I did my audition on tape with my best friend's mom, and um, yeah, that's how I got the role. I, I guess they were like, yeah. But that was a much lengthy process, and yeah, that show went on for four years, and yeah, that was, I'm always grateful for that show. I met some of you guys earlier, and it, it's like, I had awesome conversations with a bunch of you about 13 reasons, so thank you guys for that. Wonderful. So, what are you currently working on? What's next? What's on the horizon? Oh, um, so Shazam 2 is coming out in March. So we can't talk about that. So I can't believe we can't talk about that. Uh, you guys get to see me in a fighting, you guys know what MMA is out here, like mixed martial arts. I get to do like a really cool, dark, leading character, a little bit of Zach Dempsey, but uh, yeah, and I get to fight. So you'll, I have like a bunch of tattoos, you'll see what's And then, uh... And there's a tattoo pavilion right over there. Yeah. Oh! Has anybody else here gotten a tattoo from that tattoo parlor? Anyone? Oh, you guys? What would you guys get? Uh, I can't hear you from here, but just, like, hold it up. <laughs> uh, uh, um, and then I just shot a... You guys know what romantic comedies are out here? Yeah. I finally got to do my first romantic comedy. I shot that in Taipei and Taiwan, so that'll be coming out early next year, I think. And so what's that? Uh, it's called Love Love Taipei, so yeah, you, you guys will hear more about it too. Can't oh, talk that's about it. Fantastic. Well, let's not talk about that stuff. So, 
You're on set. Been working hard all day. Yeah. You walk over to the craft services table. It's the first thing you grab. First thing I grab. Uh, I mean, besides black coffee, uh, I'm a big donut guy. Um, and I try. What are those? The you guys have like a South African sweet thing with the, the twisty things. Swiss sticks. Cook. Sisters. Six sticks, cook sticks, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what are they, can you do <laughs> So, and I learned, I learned this. Look. Sisters, cook sisters. Yeah. 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 So they can laugh at us. Oh, there's some interesting stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what is it when you're drunk? Babalas! I'm over. Is this your word for when you're drunk? Yeah. Oh, this is going to come in handy for me later, so I should probably learn this. You got it at some point. That's you. Cook sisters is the. Of course, they'll, they'll make fun of us later. Like, do you like how they said the word cook sisters? Cook sisters. <laughs> no, that's wonderful. Yeah. Um, what? What do you What do you do when you're like so? You know, you're you're acting, you're doing that. What are, What are you doing in your spare time? Like, what What takes up the time when you're not working? Uh, I've got a lot of weird hobbies. Um, I I I've learned how to salsa dance. I don't know if you guys. Know It's not that impressive, guys. It's just like, trust me. All right, here we go. Okay. Salsa dancing. Downtime right now. We're right before the big 
yeah. and E3s and PAXs, so they haven't announced a whole lot yet. So, yeah. I mean, gaming is huge here. Have you been able to see the gaming fun? I haven't. I haven't been able to walk out and like, meet you guys, so maybe yeah. later today. You can show me a Stormtrooper helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Nobody will recognize the really tall guy with a yeah. Stormtrooper helmet on it. <laughs> so what, what do you look forward to most about seeing while you're here in South Africa? What, what are you excited about? Uh, Really excited to uh, eat some of the food here. There's like a, I heard you guys have been on stew. Or like, was it free? Right? Like, yeah. 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 when you get that, I brought some bread and do you see Yeah, I'd like to see some animals, huh? Kebab? Kebab. That. Say words. Like, you know, and Bill's talk. I want to get some Bill's talk. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a big foodie. I eat too much. So again, this is why I was in Italy. It wasn't for fashion, it was for food. So, so yeah, so uh, what did you have in Italy? In Italy? What's your favorite? Oh, no, we'll, do, we'll do this instead. This is the this is the KFC main stage, which is about comfort food. What's your go-to comfort food? Uh, big ramen guy. You guys have ramen here? Sushi, I don't know, just like anything Japanese. The KFC is pretty good. Like I, I had some of those ghost pepper wings. Like oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm kind of scared to do it because my stomach is kind of in a good way. It's like a nice warm feeling. No, no, it's weird because in, in America KFC is just another chain, but it's like this stuff. It's Once here. you leave America, KFC everywhere you, you go, okay. it's, it's great. It's fantastic. Yeah. The big fancy guy. I mean, look, the the Colonel is a superhero here. Oh, yeah. I mean, in America, he's just a just a dude. KFC, right? On the South dude, you think of Yeah, there you go. This isn't like a KFC plug. I'm just kind of boring. Yeah. So, uh, dream role. Like, if you could play any character in anything, what would it be and why? Have you guys seen The Matrix? Yeah. I'd love to be Neo. The Neo in The Matrix. Character, but uh, you guys know Wolverine? Yeah! I can play Wolverine. That like he's just so angry, and I know I don't seem like an angry guy, but I just I would love to just have things come out of my hands and not be able to die. I guess <laughs> that's a that's Wolverine. Thing. Yeah, it's an idea, you know, claws yeah. and armor and stuff. What about you? What, what, if you could play besides R2D2, like what would you? <laughs> See, I'm I'm a behind the scenes guy actually. That's not my answer. Do you guys want to know like who he would play? What's his favorite? You guys have been seeing him all day. I would. I would be the sidekick. <laughs> no, 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 legit. No, no, one hundred percent. I love being a sidekick. Wait, which sidekick? Um, Robin. I can see you, Robin. Huh? It would. It would probably be. It would probably be Robin. Okay. Probably be Robin. Because okay. you know Batman. You know. He's got all the money, so I'm gonna, gonna pitch, I'm gonna pitch that to DC. If I need to borrow money, I just say, hey Batman, I know you got some cash from the brother out. No, I just I think their dynamic through you know it's just so interesting to watch all the different iterations. Yeah. Are you guys Nightwing fans? Anybody like Nightwing? That's another dream role, Nightwing. Yeah. It's Robin Williams. Yeah, no, 100 percent No. So uh yeah. you've got to work with a lot of uh Actors and actresses and directors, do you have a favorite? Yeah, I think Zendaya has to be. She is one of the funniest people I know. Honestly, she has some of the best comedic time. I know she's been doing like a lot of like serious roles like Dune and everything, but she is hilarious. Like she's awesome. Really awesome. She's professional. And she kicked my, my butt in case I don't know if you remember, but she like, she beat me up, and that wasn't an acting. She just, she just yeah. beat me up. Did you do a bunch of training for uh, Shazam coming up? Uh, kind of. I had to learn how to fly in real life. You know, I just like really focused my flying energy. Uh, yeah, and they taught us to fight like the superheroes. I don't know if you guys like. No, like martial arts is one thing, but when we do Shazam, they teach us to really like exaggerate everything. So that was kind of cool. So then I had to work on my Hadouken a lot. Like I had to really focus on. <laughs> 
Uh, fun fact, we actually had a, uh, a Falcon Punch, a Shazam 1, instead of the Hadouken. We were trying to see which one looked better. I like the Falcon Punch better, but uh, we still put the Hadouken. I don't know if we got, if we got the rights for the Falcon Punch, so that's a good to do. I'm, I'm good with the both of them. Well. So what are they about Sean's both of them? I can't show you the fact. I just ate, I just had some ghost pepper wings, man. The salsa, I almost threw up when I did that salsa. That was too much. Sorry for, for bringing you into that. I didn't want to throw up on you. It's fine. It's all good. It's, 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 these are all of your new friends right now, all right? Whoa. Hello there, everybody. Is that Raven from Teen Titans right there? Yeah! I love Raven. Yeah, that could be another dream. No, <laughs> no so, uh, so you've got some stuff coming up. Yeah. We talked about dream roles. Yeah. Uh, what about like a dream director? Uh, you guys know Taika Waititi? Yeah. I would love like, I comedy is, I love to do comedy, like the, the whole drama thing, it's okay, but I, just, I would love to do Taika. Um, who else? Uh, I think that's about it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, maybe like a mafia film with Mark Scorsese, I'll be like the, the token Asian mafia guy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, we thank you for coming. Uh, they can obviously come and see you. We yeah. some stuff signed. I mean, do you, I mean, do they have any questions? Or, you know, do you, do you, is, that, is it too much? Too much? Is no, no, we can, we can ask. Take a couple ones. questions. You see where's my guy? He's right there. All right, let's go right there. She's just close right here. Thank you. Um, what was your favorite role that you played over the years? Oh, um, I think Zach Dempsey, honestly. Zach Dempsey. I don't know. I think I think that just changed the idea of what jocks are, and uh, that they're not always just like you know, just because we're athletic doesn't mean that we don't have parts. Even though it's one of the reasons, but. Forget about that. <laughs> Zach was a, was a good guy. He was a good guy. Yeah. Uh, what? Are you single? Oh. Single. Big dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always, a, oh, forever alone. Forever alone. <laughs> yeah, we love Noah. Give Noah a hug. But that was just me. Like, we didn't have, I don't think. Me and Noah, or Noah and I, had any written, like none of the lines we said to each other were written. It was just us improvising. improvising. So, for that kind of role, it's like, you don't really get stuck in it. Because it's just me. Yeah. Uh, was it nice acting in Riverdale? Was it nice? Yeah, I had a lot of fun in Riverdale. You guys big Riverdale fans? Yeah. Uh, we keep it in the DC universe. Uh, Reggie Mantle, you know, that was a fun time. Yeah, it was fun. I miss all my work there. Couple more. Yeah. Uh, what was your favorite movie to watch? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hello. Hi, I love you as well. Oh, thank you. Um, and I know that you like to learn a lot of new things, so what's the latest thing that you've learned? Ooh. Um, I've been learning to, to speak Italian. I don't know if there's any Italian here.